this is like my ticket to make sure that I'm part of this procedure doing like <laughs> that's for your butt. I just remember like all this chaos is going on. Hi guys, so I wanted to do a little story time for you guys of a story that happened to me when I was in nursing school because I feel like looking back on the story, it's like the perfect amount of happy, sad, terrifying, embarrassing, like all of the above as far as being a nursing student in nursing school. Um, and I wanted to just like, I don't know, tell you this guy, you guys the story so you could relate and laugh at me if you want. Cause I think it's kind of like just a like typical nursing school story for you all. So I was in my third semester of nursing school and I was doing my OB rotation and I w it was my first day of clinicals and I was in antepartum, which is like the pregnant ladies who have not given birth yet, but they may be having some complications with themselves or the babies and they need the extra monitoring during pregnancy. And I honestly like wasn't super excited about this rotation because I was like, you know what? The babies aren't even born yet. I don't get to see the delivery or like see the babies after they're born. So I like wasn't super excited about this particular rotation. And um, my nurse that day, she was like an older, more experienced nurse and she was kind of cranky, but it was fine. <laughs> and um, we had this patient who had premature ruptured of her membranes. And I believe she was only like 23, 24 weeks. So right around that like viability time. And so that's why this patient was there for this extra monitoring. Well, they were doing the monitoring, what is it called? Non-stress test scan. And the baby started to have, I think it's, <laughs> Bear with me if you're OB. I am not an OB nurse whatsoever, but the baby started to have variable D cells, which are like where the heart rate starts to dip really low and then kind of comes back up. And um, it usually means that there's like a compression of the cord or lack of oxygen, something like that. Again, I'm not an OB nurse, so don't take this, like take this with face value. Um, and so this, patient or the baby started to have these D cells and so they called in another nurse to do a cervical check and it turned out that the baby's cord or legs or something like the baby was starting to come out of the cervix and like that's an emergency and so we had to wheel this patient back to the OR emergently for a c-section and as a student I'm just like oh my god like <laughs> I am in on this and I remember, so we're wheeling this patient back and they're calling the OR team in like from the time that they discovered this to the time the patient like was getting the C-section, like t only 10 minutes went by. It was just crazy, crazy fast. And as a student, like obviously it was very sad and scary for the mom, totally like not denying that. But as a student, it was really like exciting, like adrenaline wise, like, oh my gosh, I get to be a part of this. So I remember I was like, well, can I go into the OR? And my nurse was like, yeah, sure. And so outside the OR, there was all these like scrubs, like surgical scrubs and the hats and the booties for your shoes. And I'm trying to be quick and put it on. And I don't know like if you guys are, think of this or are like this, but as a nursing student, I always felt so slow at putting on gloves and gowns and masks and stuff. Like the bedside nurse would be put it on really quick. And I would be like still trying to put it on, and, like get in the room to be, um, next to him or her I, I just felt like I was really slow at it and like always in my head like mentally I was like oh my gosh I'm so slow I need to hurry up so like to have to put on all this OR gear and stuff to go into the OR I was like scrambling trying to put it on really quick and the bedside nurse that my nurse that I was following had to like follow this patient in to give the doctor like the rundown of kind of what went on so she kind of had to leave me so I'm like trying to put on all this stuff and I remember the patient had glasses on and the nurse handed them to me and said, can you hold on to these? Cause she couldn't have them on during the surgery, like the C-section or something like that. And I remember thinking like, yes, this is like my ticket to make sure that I'm part of this procedure because if I have these glasses, I have to go back to where I like, you know, like I have to give them to the patient. So it was like my golden ticket or whatever I felt like. I was like, okay, so I had these glasses. So I'm putting on all this gear and I put one of the little foot booties, you know, those little foot booties. I'm like trying to put it on my head because I'm just like scrambling trying to put the stuff on. And like, I'm like, why is this thing not fitting? Like it was only going like right here. I'm trying to like get my hair in and another nurse is like, what are you doing? Like, 
that's for your butt. And so I'm like, oh, okay. So I like put them on and she's like trying to help me. And I'm like, ah. So we go into the OR and I remember being in the OR and it's chaotic and there's a lot of people in there. And the mom didn't have any family members with her because there's no one with her when this emergently happened. And I remember the mom was just, she was crying. She was scared. And as like a nursing student, I don't have a role in the OR. Like everyone else had a role, you know, they're doing the surgery, they're taking the vitals, they're doing anesthesia, they're monitoring this, they're writing it on this, they're trying whatever, they had a role. I didn't have a role other than observing. And I f was like, so wanted to go over to the mom and like tell her, you know, it's gonna be okay. They're gonna take care of you. Like, I know this is scary, like just be there for her. But I like, I held back because I didn't want to go be in the way. Like I didn't want to go up and be right next to her because there's so many people around her. And I just remember like all this chaos is going on and like focusing in on the mom and being like, I wish I could go over there and, and say something to her. And in hindsight, um, I mean, not that I like regret or not regret. I wish I would have gone because I actually asked my nursing instructor afterwards. I'm like, would it have been okay? Like I didn't want to intervene and like, be, I don't know, like in the way as a student because you know you like don't want to be in the way. And she said, yeah, that probably would have been okay. But anyways, I didn't know at the time. So I remember like just being honed in on the mom and she was really upset. And so it's really sad, but the, the C-section went well. The baby's obviously really premature. I don't really know the outcome of what happened afterwards because after that shift, I, I left. Like I know the baby survived the C-section and all that, but I don't know what happened like once the baby got to the NICU, what their prognosis is. This was years ago, so who who knows at this point? Um, but that is my story. I guess it doesn't really have like a good ending, um, but that's it. So I thought I would share that because it's kind of like a combination of being funny, kind of sad, and like a typical nursing student, like you're rushing, you're getting, <laughs> you're like, don't want to hold anyone back, but you don't want to like, but you don't want to miss out on anything. And so, I don't know if you guys have any stories that you want to share when you're in nursing school, but that was one of my nursing school stories. If you guys, if you guys like these types of videos, let me know and I will do more story times. The hard thing about story times is I have to make sure that the videos, like these stories don't violate any patient's privacy or information. So this happened years ago and yeah, obviously you can't identify who the patient was. <laughs> based off the story. But that's the hard part about stories is like, I'd love to tell you guys some like recent stories of things that have happened to me, but I don't want to like violate anyone's privacy or rights. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you did and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.